there. Nice to meet How you. Are you. How are you? Um, well, just start by saying, uh, obviously, you tirelessly work behind the scenes, uh, creating costumes and designing costumes, of course. It must be nice to be here to celebrate you for a change. Yes, it really, really is exciting. I haven't seen the exhibition yet, but I have no doubt that Deborah Landis, who's the senior curator with the VNA, is done. And it, I mean, the VNA is such a well respected museum and, and knows so much about the craft of clothing and decorative arts. So I have no doubts it's going to be amazing, and I'm really excited just to see what it looks like. And of course, uh, when you are designing, tell us about the sort of process. I mean, when you're doing, for, I mean, of course, Titanic, and you have to go back, you know, 100 years, how much research do you have to do into the time and, and the fashion? From that, from that period before sort of working? It's a tremendous amount of research. I mean, that's, that's the core of it, so that you get to know the period as well as anyone who might have lived it. And then you put it on, on top of that your own ideas and sort of what makes each character come alive. So um, it, luckily it's a, it was a period of photographs, so you could see what real people look like of all classes. Um, and in fashion magazines, paintings and I also study usually try to study the etiquette of a period because it dictates why and where people wore the clothes they wore and in that period it was very much one of of rules much more than we have today and films are continuously getting better from a visual sense and I mean that the definitions are improving and there's 3d of course of in recent yes. years does that pose any sort of new challenges to the costume designer well it was a new challenge for me because I also worked on avatar which was a, one of the, the you know most technically advanced 3d animation pieces and so doing clothing for animation just opened up a whole new world to me and um, dealing with computers which you know not very savvy there but I, it was an amazing learning experience is, so yes it's changed is it almost more fun when you when you're creating costumes for, for a world that doesn't actually exist and you can be a bit more playful I suppose than when you're sort of doing Titanic and having to stick to something a bit more historic yeah I think I mean it's 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 nice either way I mean the history of something is really important and it sort of gives us a, a nice glimpse into something when you have to make things up it's almost a little bit more nerve-wracking because you're you know you, the world is so open that you're like what should I choose and how should I choose it uh, and then just finally what are you most looking forward to uh, to seeing out in the flesh here at the uh, this uh, exhibition oh the Dorothy dress <laughs> absolutely thank you so much for that much appreciated